the broken but series the hatred of black women let's talk now to a cbs2 exclusive a gas station worker in south suburban dalton caught on camera beating a woman inside the store we warn you the video is graphic our jermont terry tracked down the victim lots to get into let's get right to jermont terry in dalton where protesters actually forced that store to close for the night jermont Brad, tonight the lights are off. This 24-hour gas station is shut down. It is mission accomplished for the protesters who came out furious by the attack of this woman by a man who works here. A rally and cry of outrage at the Shell on Sibley Boulevard and Lincoln Avenue in Dalton. Justice for Kia! This crowd gathering for Nakia Smith. She's bruised. I guess he stumped her in her arm after this assault caught on video. Open the door! And every time I close my eyes to go to sleep, that's just all I see. Smith says she tried to use the gas station's restroom and was originally denied by the man behind the counter. But there was a woman working too. And you asked that woman what? Can I use the bathroom? And she allows you to she go? She let me go to the bathroom. And as you're walking towards the bathroom? I hear him come from behind the counter and go to lock the door. Fearful of what the man would do, Smith says she accidentally urinated on herself in the aisle. It's a medical condition. I can't control it all the time. Smith says when she tried to leave the store, the employee would not let her. The video you got, that was the end of the situation. That was not the beginning. She tells me the man refused to unlock the door. I'm starting to unlock the door. He pushed me. I pushed him back. So I continue to let myself out and he started hitting me. Open the door! Oh, oh my God! Her friends were locked outside watching in horror. It turns out the person recording is a stranger. She doesn't know her. Yet Smith's mother is grateful the stranger captured what she did. Those were blows. He attacked her. The front door is boarded up where friends eventually broke the glass to get Smith out safely. They are rallying after learning people have complained about this employee before. When you get complaints, check into those complaints. And tonight, Dalton police are sitting outside of this shut down gas station. As for the man in that video, he walked into the police station late this afternoon to turn himself in two days after the attack. Tonight, Dalton's mayor telling me that she has ordered the police chief to personally get involved in this investigation to make sure that charges stick at the Cook County State's Attorney's Office. Reporting live in Dalton tonight, Jermont Terry. Brad, back to you. All right, Jermont, we know you're staying top of it. It is so hard looking at this video where this man is like brutally attacking this woman just for using the restroom. He told her no, but the other employee told her yes. And it's, it's so embarrassing the hatred that black men have for women, black women. What is going on? And I feel like they're broken. They're broken. They're afraid of the man who has his foot on their neck. And the only recourse they have is to get mad at black women and blame them and attack them no matter where they are. Wake up, black women. Protect yourself. And for all you black men out there who say you're not like this, stand up and be heard. I'm Mama Rain. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day and don't forget to leave that comment. Bye.